Uh, hello, and uh, today we're going to be doing the second part of how to make a uh, how to make a um, platform on Clipping Fusion 2.5. Uh, in this episode, we will be covering two main things. Uh, uh, coins and lives. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. So first up, we're gonna be doing the coins and the um, coins and the uh, coin counter. So this object right here, this active right here, is going to be our um. It's gonna be our um, coin. So we're gonna like paint a couple of these around. It's gonna be nice. Okay. So uh, I kind of realized that uh, unless the coins are practically on the ground, the player isn't gonna jump up to them. What? So I'm gonna quickly change that. Uh, also, I want the player to be a little faster. So maybe I'll turn the Y velocity to 1,000. Jump strength to uh, 700. Bit more, bit more. 900. It's a bit jumpy, but eh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, so, we're gonna paint a couple of these around. Um, and now we're gonna make a uh, counter. So, uh, first I'm gonna make an active. This is gonna be like, it's gonna be coins and then uh, colon. Uh, so, uh, coin, okay, don't know why I have dark red selected, uh, coins, coin, 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 yeah, whatever, it, it, it doesn't have a look that good, doesn't it look amazing, it's just, meant to work uh, now it's time for our counter so this counter is gonna actually gonna be it's gonna be the uh, coins it's gonna track how many coins the player currently has so this 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 is this is just here for decoration but this is the actual um actual um actual uh thing so let's do that okay that's ginormous um Hmm. Um. How about let us just make this bigger, and uh, I, I think we just need to make the counter small actually. Okay, so let's change it to like ten. That might be too small. Wait, why don't I just, I could just uh, do that. Boom, uh, that looks nice. Well, 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 good, good. It's, it's, it's good. Now we're gonna add a uh, comment here. This is gonna be coins. 
So you have the coin system. I uh, so collisions, overlapping another object, coins, and then we add one to the counter. So uh, the oh yeah, there's one more thing I need to do on this. Uh, we need. Yeah, we need to tick off follow the frame. And counters have that on automatically. Oh! Oh wait, yeah! I, f I, f I forgot about something. Uh, we can't just make this invisible. Um, we have to send them in like an out of bounds area. So when you go position, so what position? Yeah. Does this work? Yep. It works. When I first, when uh, my friend first like helped me with this code, uh, uh, Creator Moses Pizza Chips one, uh, he is the one that uh always helped me he's smart uh go uh i'll link him in the description of this video he he helps me a lot with coding uh since he's has a iq more than a uh, two so uh next thing we're doing is lives and game over so first we need to actually make a, a game over screen so uh Let's just make it entirely black and just do just do giant tick saying game over. Uh, so obviously you would be sent to this screen when you get a game over, uh, when you have zero lives. Uh, Let's crop it. <sighs> uh, let's center that in the middle of the frame. Let's see. So if we're so if we're gonna have lives, we need something to actually hurt us, right? So uh, we're not gonna make enemies. That 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 maybe in another part. Who knows? Uh, but for now, we can't do enemies. Uh, enemies might be too hard. I know Moses. Moses knows how to make enemies. Okay, so we're going to make uh, some spikes. So I'm just gonna quick plug all these. a little bad but uh, whatever it's a tutorial uh, basically what's gonna happen is a uh, when the player overlaps with the spike object then uh, it will restart the frame except uh, it will also deduct one life uh, by the way, if you double click on the lives, you can like edit what the lives look like. I'm just gonna keep it as that since, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna paint a couple of these around. Um, just, uh, okay, that one's floating, I'm gonna fix that. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it, we're gonna make, I don't want like goods and comments that much since like sometimes you'll just have coins and there'll be like one line of code. So uh, let's go do lives. Uh, 
in lies actually i'm gonna change that to uh i'm gonna edit that to lies and spikes since uh, so we're gonna do um collision overlapping another object spikes and where they go i've never i didn't i didn't actually know how they use lies until today uh, I went on to the uh, quick team forms. Then uh, it's a nice place, you know. Okay, we need to do uh, subtract number of lives one, and we're gonna do uh, restart current frame. Yeah, now that works. And now we have zero lives. Except there's a problem. We're not being sent to the game over screen. So we need to do. <sighs> Uh, compare players numbers of lies uh, lower or equal to zero um, I, I'm just gonna do jump to frame uh, since you probably want like a level two after this boom boom and what oh, who cares I'll just do uh Next frame. Oh yeah, run application. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just change this to jump to frame. I don't know why it isn't uh, going there. Good day. Perfect. So uh, we successfully have made a coin system and a game over system um don't really know what we're gonna do in the next video since uh, maybe like uh how they were uh, get to uh how to get the new levels even though that's quite simple stuff i'll probably have some something packaged in there uh but the uh, yeah, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm having fun making tutorials, uh, see you guys in, uh, part three of how to make a platformer in Quick Team Fusion 2.5.